Continuing our series on psychology and prayer, we're going to talk more about the uh, Rambam Maimonides that I quoted yesterday because, again, the most important thing is to understand how prayer is not something that you master in a day, a week, or even in a year. It is a process of personal development and like a meditational practice, which it really is, it takes training and basically years to develop. Let's listen more to what Maimonides has to say in Guide for the Perplexed, Part 3, Chapter 51. We must bear in mind that all such religious acts as reading the law, praying, and performing of the mitzvahs serve exclusively as the means of causing us to occupy and fill our mind with the precepts of God and free it from worldly business. For we are thus, as it were, in communication with God and undisturbed by any other thing. If we, however, pray with the motion of our lips and our face toward the wall, but at the same time think of our business, if we read the law with our tongue, while our heart is occupied with the building of our house, and we do not think of what we are reading, if we perform the commandments only with our limbs, we are like those who are engaging in digging in the ground or hewing wood in the forest without reflecting on the nature of those acts or by whom they are commanded or what is their object. We must not, we must not imagine that in this way we attain the highest perfection. On the contrary, we are then like those in reference to whom I, uh, Jeremiah says in chapter 12, they are near in their mouth, but they are really far. Now, this is such an important principle because from Maimonides' point of view, if you remember, we quoted him yesterday and it is probably, as I said, the climax of the Guide for the Perplexed. He said in the beginning of this chapter, he said that the entire purpose is about attaining a connection to God, that that is what the purpose of the mitzvah's observance, that's what they achieve. And here he's saying that it doesn't matter whether you're praying or you're studying the law, or you're engaging in a mitzvah, in a commandment, the full uh, power, the full impact, the full quality is only by meditating and being connected to God. Meaning there's no, there's no escaping this idea that mindfulness, the idea that one remains connected to God is the ultimate purpose. And that it's not just about prayer. And that's what I meant when I said yesterday that praying three times a day is not something you do three times a day, an obligation that you discharge. It's more like a touching base in order to maintain this mindfulness throughout the day. Because what Maimonides is talking about over here is he's saying that the presence of mind is required, whether you're studying Torah, whether you are praying, or even if you're just performing a mitzvah, a good deed, as it were, a kindness to somebody, this idea of wanting to be connected to God, of wanting to emulate God. And this is the purpose and the function of the Torah. Now listen to this. This is something else, because this is where you see Maimonides as the great educator, and the one who's going to tell it to you like it is. And he's going to tell you what you need to know if you're ready to listen. Here's what he says. I will now commence to show you the way how to educate and train yourselves in order to attain that great perfection. The first thing you must do is this. Turn your thoughts away from everything while you read the Shema or during the Tefillah. And do not content yourself with being devout when you read the first verse of Shema or the first paragraph of the prayer. 
when you have successfully practiced this for many years, many years, this is what he says, I'm not making this up. When you have successfully practiced this for many years, try in reading the law or listening to it, in other words, studying Torah, to have all your heart and all your thought occupied with understanding what you read or hear. After some time, when you have mastered this, accustom yourself to have your mind free from all other thoughts when you read any portion of the other books of the prophets, or when you say any blessing, and to have your attention directed exclusively to the perception and the understanding of what you utter. When you've succeeded in properly performing these acts of divine service, and you have your thought during their performance entirely abstracted from worldly affairs, take care that your thought not be disturbed by thinking of wants or superfluous things. In short, think of worldly matters when you eat, drink, bathe, etc., etc. These times, which are frequent and long, I think must suffice to you for reflecting on everything that is necessary as regards to business. Meaning that he's saying that when you have to do things such as bathing or going or to the toilet, as it were, then if you need to think about your, your regular mundane business affairs, do that then. But when you're, when you're walking throughout the day, when you're carrying out commandments, when you're studying Torah, pay attention, be attached to Hashem. But the most important part is he starts out with saying that it takes years. It takes years to develop the proper mindfulness and the proper intention. And so the thought I'd like to leave you with, most importantly, um, as we may conclude the series with today's talk is this notion that you can't do it in a day. That doesn't mean it isn't worth doing. Um, it just means that you can't do it in a day and that mindfulness is not only the most important thing that you can do for your emotional health and your physical health, but even for your spiritual health. And that starts with paying attention, paying attention to everything. When you put on your your, your talus in the morning, before you even think about the intention of the prayer that you're going to utter, feel the texture of the cloth, smell the wool, feel the air around you, feel your own body, ground yourself, then wrap yourself in the talit, in the talus, and feel yourself connected and attached to Hashem. All these things, all these deliberate acts of mindfulness, take years and years to cultivate so that maybe when you pray you have in mind for a few minutes and then maybe that aura and that glow stays with you for a little bit after your prayer as you walk about and doing your business and then you'll merit you'll merit to greater and greater levels of attachment to Hashem peace of mind success health and love